and welcome to a 10 year anniversary of sorts video about the Epic Film Challenge 2. Thousand more movies you must see before you die. And I believe this is your first appearance on the channel in about two or three years. I don't know. Yeah, we, we've been filming the marathons for years, so it, it's not like we don't film things, but you, I've had a few comments saying, where's Connie, Is, you know, and so, anyway, you're, you're here now, in 2023, December, and it is... Unwillingly. <laughs> unwillingly, and uh, we are looking at the 10-year uh, anniversary of this book, which has faded now, I mean, it's not even getting in focus, um, let's hide our faces, there you go. So most of the text is already faded. I'm still working from this version of the book. You can see the spine is nice and... Used to be all silver, didn't it? Nice and cracked and all that kind of stuff. Um, so it was August 2013 when we lived in Norway that uh, I started it. And we watched a couple of films and did reviews. And it was November 2013 that I started posting them. But it's been a very erratic series over the past 10 years obviously the first epic film challenge took us one year and that was fine and it, and its own thing what, what 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 was the first one only took a year yeah we watched a thousand and one movies <laughs> you're obviously not brushed up on your um razor wire reviews law um no we did one a day for a year remember that was the initial we did one movie a day can't remember that. Well, we didn't keep just the a... thought of watching one movie a day. Now is like we didn't we didn't keep to com completely. We had to do Sometimes like catch we up days. Two or three. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, no, we, and it was three hundred and sixty six because it was a leap year. Um, but yeah, fucking hell, it's a leap year. This next year too. Oh. Twenty nine days. Um. Anyway, so it's it's been ten years, and that's funny, isn't it? Yeah, we filmed the 300th episode three years ago. <laughs> and because uh, I, I started filming ahead. Yeah, so, what can you expect though? But I wanted to like space out the episodes that you were in so that they, you would still be a, a constant part of it. Um, so I kind of had this plan and it just got completely mi mixed up and then, you know, things have happened and I'm working on getting back to things. So I can announce now. Um, that January 2024, I'm going to start posting a new review every week for at least six months. I've got like a, like 10 ready, all ready to go. So I just need to fill in that gap to that episode 300 that, that we did, which was the Tree of Life, uh, which is great. And that was a, a good video, I think, I hope. I can't I'm a, remember it. We, we, really? You can't remember that film? When you tell me, I will. I just, I'm really bad at remembering we, what a movie is. We almost is talked like an hour title. about it. We had yeah. a lot to I'm say. I'm bad at remembering a movie based on the title, I Which, which segues me perfectly into this next segment, which is I want to go through all the ones that you have actually uh, watched in the, the series and just run through them and see if you have anything. 300? So no, you, no, okay, so you did 41 films in the first 100. You did 30 in the second 100. And then you did 41 in the, the other 300. The other 100. The mix-up 300. Um, so Trip to the Moon, Hugo, uh, Heat, Rob De Niro, Al Pacino, Heat, mm. 2001 Space Odyssey, mm. Lord of the Rings trilogy, um, Seven, mm. which annoyingly was episode number nine. I don't know why I didn't plan that one out. Um, Twelve, the, De the Descendants. Is it the one that we watched with Ryan? No, it's uh, George Clooney. Um, you said no on that one. You said it was good, but not a movie you must see. Top Gun. Was there a prison scene? No. Top Gun, Kramer vs. Kramer. Uh, video. I watched that now. Videodrome. You hated that one. Yes, I think I feel I remember something yeah. stupid like that, yeah. Four Weddings and a Funeral. Um, Hugh? Yeah. Uh, say anything. Mm. Tootsie. Yeah, Rear yeah. window. Hitchcock. Yeah. Young Frankenstein. Rear window was great. Young Frankenstein. Walk mm. this way. Mm. Um, Gone with the wind, <laughs> which we did in one of the marathons. Uh, the sting. Never watching that again. <laughs> the sting with uh, a yeah, Paul Newman. Yeah, of course. Rope, the Hitchcock film. James Stewart. We'll start the one with the murder mystery and the dinner party. Yeah, it's like all mm. takes place in one apartment. Um, Beverly Hills Cop. Which you said yes to, and I said no to. Um, 
Is it with uh, Eddie Murphy? Yeah, yeah. I said yes to that. Yeah, 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 yeah. When Harry met Sally, mm -hmm. which you said no to, you were really quite. You liked it, but you you didn't want to say yes. No. Um, Casablanca classic, mm. The Blair Witch Project. Ugh. Terms of Endearment, Jack Nicholson film. We just watched the Jack Nicholson film. It's about um, this this woman who gets cancer and dies. And she's, and she's like a young mother. Brilliant. It's brilliant, but absolutely devastating. Freaks. Remember that one with all the... No? Okay. <laughs> Slacker. Wait, is that the, supposed to be like a zombie movie or something? No, no. It wasn't. No, it's like, a, it's like a carnival and all these people with deformities and small people. And it's a very... No, okay. Um, Slacker. Uh, it's the Richard Linklater film where there's two people having a conversation and they meet someone and then we follow them around the city and then they follow someone else. Sounds and... like a movie I'd love. I yeah. don't know why I don't remember it. You said yes to that one. Um, Blazing Saddles. Why Blazing Saddles? Gene Wilder comedy. Mel Brooks. Uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. The Breakfast Club. The Jungle Book. The Kid Brother, which is a Harold Lloyd film. That's one of my favorite reviews we we've done together. I think because I love that film and I wanted to show it to you and I was excited I that you watched what it. it is. We actually watched it again with my nan for Marathon Nine a few years ago. And we went down to my nan's and watched a silent film for a marathon. Oh, it's a silent film. Yeah, is it? Harold Lloyd. So you've seen that twice. Is it the actually. one with the tree? Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is interesting. Um, Animal Farm, the animated film. No, 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 no. You said no. yes. You, no, I didn't. You did. You said no. You made I, me say yes. I noted this down. You said yes, though I didn't enjoy it, and I never want to see it again. What would I say yes to it then? Because it, it has a good been... message. You 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 approved of the message, but you hated the film itself. Uh, I remember we did. Well, I changed my mind. I say no. We we did that during one of our little animation marathon things. Um, Dumbo it scarred me. Dumbo, uh, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, yep. the Fly. I hated the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah, there was a no, a no on that yeah, one. Yeah, it was um, terrible. You can't seriously say that the acting is good in this movie. <laughs> seriously, she was so loud and I was actually thinking, oh, I bet she's going to scream a lot. Yeah. And boy, was I fucking right. Because she was screaming nonstop for 20 fucking minutes. <laughs> After three, I was annoyed. Okay? Frankenstein. King Kong. Watching fucking King Kong here. Yeah. King Kong movie they make. <laughs> the Terminator. Um, Dracula, which you said, this is the Bela Lugosi version. You said yes, I guess. <laughs> um, and then Dracula with Christopher Lee. And you said yes, that if you're going to watch Dracula, this is the one to watch. The Shining. Uh, Ring, the Japanese horror film. A Chinese ghost story. You said, I don't know. You couldn't decide. It's not the stupid one. You think it's stupid. I, I love it. Um, I know you love it, but it's stupid. Okay. It's like those uh, vampire movies you're watching. Yeah, yeah very much like stupid. that. Stupid. Uh, Alien, Aliens, obviously. Kind of like a train wreck. Like you can't look away. You're kind of just like, I'm going to stop watching. It's, it's like a Fail Army video. No, Fail Army is better. I take that back. Nightmare on Elm Street. Mm -hmm. Which you hated in the original Epic Film Challenge, and you and you, you probably loved it, and then you really liked it and said it and said yes uh, when we watched it for the second one. That's why I like to revisit movies. Uh, Manhunter, which is the uh, Norwegian one. No. no, it's not. No, that's that's, that's Headhunter. <laughs> yeah, Man Manhunter is it's the, the uh, yeah uh, Silence of the Lambs. Yeah, yeah, and then and then Silence of the Lambs, uh, the Poltergeist, mm -hmm. uh, the Thing, mm -hmm. Halloween, um, Diner. Which was very good, and I, I I reckon you probably yeah you said no on that one, but you said that you really liked it. People just sat in the diner chatting. Not quite no, but it's a good, great great cast and it's a good little drama. Um, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, The Princess Bride, mm -hmm. which I would have thought you'd say yes to, but you said maybe I don't know. You said um, it's a kind of special movie, like so I think I'd like to revisit that uh, one one time. Uh, I love that film so much; it's the best. I know you do, so it's. I guess it's the only reason I'd revisit it. Mm. And it's just because it's, it's like Monty Python kind of classic. It's just stupid, mm. but I guess you kind of have to just go with it. Not any time soon, mind. No, um, it's a Wonderful Life. Yeah, yeah, no, I spaced out. Okay. Of course, I know. James that. Stewart, yeah. Okay. yeah. Uh, the Man from Laramie. 
No idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Didn't think you would. It's a, it's a Western starring James Stewart, which is probably why we watched it straight after It's Western. a Wonderful Life. And we both said it was good, but it's not special. Um, I barely remember anything about it. Memorable. Yeah, this is Spinal Tap. Um, yeah. It goes to 11. You said yeah. no, but uh, you, you enjoyed it. Metropolis, silent classic. Um, mm. I love showing you that, even though it's not something you would normally watch. Mm-mm. The Kid with the Bike. That is a French film by a young I boy. I remember. Yeah. Sli- I just remember the bike scene, though. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think. Fast Times. the Kid with the Bike. Yeah. Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Um, yeah. Clueless. Wait, is that with uh, All Right, All Right, All Right? No. Oh. No. Uh, Clueless. <laughs> Why is that in the book? Yeah, you said no on that one. Modern Times with Chaplin. Which oh, yeah, you... the speech. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's not the one with it's the speech. The, it's the one with the ballet dancer. Uh, She's a ballet dancer. I. Yeah. No, yeah, I think so. No. Yeah. An apartment. No, no, that's Limelight. That's that's. Oh, not... limelight. Yeah. Okay. No, okay. No. I was, I was thinking, yeah, no. I limelight. Remember. Limelight's my favorite. You said maybe on that one. You weren't sure. The big chill. You said that wasn't a special one for you. It so took a it. lot of effort not to say it. What pilgrim? Mm-hmm. Oh, interesting. I have no memory. Hello. Of the big chill. Uh, what was no. It? The big chill. Uh, it's a group of friends who get together, and I think that someone's died recently. It's like Jeff Goldblum's in it, like Glenn Close. I loved it. You didn't think it was that special. You thought it was okay. It's just like 30-year-olds hanging out in a house for two hours and kind of talking. I really liked it. Um, no Country for Old Men. Mm. Mm-hmm. Avatar. Uh, great. The Usual Suspects. Is that the one? What one? What one? That we watched in Florida. No. The, the one in Florida we watched was The Departed. Which we didn't. Wasn't rem- that what you just said earlier? No, the Descendants. Oh. And the Departed is in the book, but we never did the review for it, so we have to watch it again at some point. Oh no. Okay, I'll do it on my own. Um, Toy Story, uh, American Graffiti. That is a George Lucas film. You said you weren't sure. Uh, Star Wars, mm-hmm. King of New York, which was really not good. Uh, um, no memory. Yeah, Christopher Walken, kind of a crime movie. I didn't like it. Dog Day Afternoon with Al Pacino when he holds up a bank. Oh, right, yeah. yeah I that love was a that good film. One. I, I watched that, thought it was one of the best films I'd ever seen, and I made you watch it with me the next day because I loved it that much. Mm. The Vanishing, which is the... Oh, I'm not sure what country it was made. It's a European film. It's about the, the couple who are out on holiday in their car, and they stop at like a gas station, and when he comes back, she's gone. And she's been abducted. And then we eventually see the point of view of the put the man who abducted her. It's an amazing thriller. Uh, 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 I think it's a Dutch. He's got film. a family, right? I can't remember the specifics of having a family. And but... then he abducted her into like the forest, and he was like practicing, like the screaming to see if people would hear. Oh, I think yeah, I think so. Yeah. And you see him practicing how he would abduct someone. I think so, yeah. He was pretending I don't to remember. be hurt. He has his family over. Yes, he has kids. I think, well, at least one kid and a wife. And, two, two girls right? and a wife. And uh, they have like a, a summer house in the middle of nowhere. And he starts testing with his family uh, if people can hear screaming. Mm. He's like, ah, you know, trying to get his family he, to scream. He, he placed a spider in a drawer so the girl saw it. And then she screamed. And he was like, that was a good scream or something. Yeah. And so the, oh. the other girl like I can scream louder okay go on then and so they just scream and they scream and you understand lots of screaming actually testing it because he asks the guy later on did you hear anything mm-hmm. and then you know like okay then and we do planning it I think so yeah I, I don't I can't remember that I, I just remember the dread at the beginning of imagining us being in that situation and you being I don't gone. remember it being a couple though I just remember a woman coming well, well, into that's... the car because she was helping him because he pretended he had a broken arm I'm thinking about a different movie. That was Dutch. Okay, well then that's it. Or then. French. Okay, yeah, yeah. Or Dutch, I, I'm pretty sure it's a Dutch film, yeah. But it's. It, I thought it was amazing, but it's obviously been years since we've seen it. So I don't remember some of the final. Yeah. Maybe you remember the bits. I remember, I don't remember loads. It's... There were kids. That he was like making screaming sounds to oh. see if people would hear and stuff. You could tell him practicing it, mm. lying to his family. Yeah. It was really like. Surprise. Like, it was like he was just practicing uh, d- d- singing a song on stage. It was just mm. so weird. 
Um, I thought it was great. The Graduate with Dustin Hoffman. Mm. Seven Chances, which is a Buster Mrs. Keaton Robinson, film. Mrs. Robinson, right? Yeah. yeah. Seven That's Chances, cool. which is a Buster Keaton film. That's where he's got to find a wife by the end of the day. Uh, you said yes on that one. Um, the Gold Rush, Chaplin. You said yes on that one. That is one of my favorite Chaplin films. Sons of the Desert, which is a Laurel, a Laurel and that, Hardy film. Is the Gold Rush the one uh, where he's riding the bike or something, circles near the edge of that thing all the time? No, they, like he's um, on roller skates in that. Roller and skates, it's, oh, okay. that's not in the Gold Rush, no. Um, Sons of the Desert, Laurel and Hardy, I think we both enjoyed it, but we both said no. The Deer Hunter, great. Uh, Paranormal Activity. I don't think you did that with me, actually. I don't think I wanted to watch it again. No. The Birds, Alfred Hitchcock. <laughs> um, Blade Runner. Rosemary's Baby. Yeah. The Wizard of Oz. Uh, Rashomon, which is a Kurosawa film that I was baffled that you said no. Um, Tokyo Story, again, absolute classic Japanese drama, and you said no on that one too. In the Mood for Love, classic Hong Kong romance drama, you said no on that one as well. Um, Project A Part 2, Jackie Chan, that was a yes. Um, Don't remember it. It's an epic film. Is it the one where he falls down and falls down and everything? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> he does. Have, they but blend together those two movies like for me. Like the but... Christmas decorations or something. No, that's Police Story. Oh. Yeah. Um, Ghostbusters, we're, we're, we're nearing the end now. Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Um, and you said you said yes I guess if you want to know where that music came from <laughs> so that was kind of your, your kind of uh... yes if you want to know where that music came from yeah it's only yes is it a film you should see before you die oh right <laughs> you know, how does uh, it go only the whole da, 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 dun, dun, okay. like see that. I wish that our doorbell sounded like that <laughs> instead of dun 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 <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. It would be better like that. They mm. should make it. Maybe mm. it exists. Maybe there's a copyright issue. I don't know. Maybe there's someone penny pinching uh, the estate of the family who. I don't know. The Fish Called Wanda. Do you remember that one? Mm, no. John Cleese, Kevin Klein, Jamie Lee Curtis. Oh, yeah. It was yeah, a comedy yeah. film that I, I was like, meh, it was good. but And then you turned me around somehow into saying yes. So that was a memorable one. That's, that's my previous yeses, where you, like the, the whole farm thing. That's mm. you forcing my hand. I don't know. But it was interesting that you did change my mind on it. And I just finished editing our review of well, Bridesmaids. I obviously which... picked up on all of the great things and you were like, oh yeah. Hey, we had such a fun oh, yeah. time talking about it and laughing about it in the review. The same thing happened with Bridesmaids, which I just edited. And for some reason you convinced me it's such a great movie, to say though. yes. And I don't, I'm looking back and I'm like, eh. Anyway. Um, yeah, like, is it a movie you need to see before you die? Is mm. it a movie you have to watch? Yeah. <laughs> but this you is know? some of the same so, thing. Uh, before you die? <laughs> Raiders of the Lost Ark, Indiana Jones, uh, Audition. Oh, the new Indiana Jones is out on Disney Plus. I don't know. Audition, which is a Japanese. Oh, the thing with the up. angel stuff? Angel stuff. The heaven? No. It's about that woman. It's, it's, it's a great film. You said no. You said it's not my kind of thing. Uh, La Jete which is a 20-minute a um, film that's comprised of still images, and it's a time travel movie. I love it. And you oh, you, no. you, you said something like, uh, yeah, if you're into special movies, or something like that. Um, I'm sure I even disagreed that it was a movie. Yeah, Thelma and Louise, great. Strangers on a Train, which is a great Hitchcock film. But I had a customer today named Thelma, and I almost mm. wanted to say his middle name, Louise. I'm glad but you I didn't. didn't. Say yeah. it. Um, strangers on a train a good Alfred Hitchcock film we both said no on that one it's about two strangers who meet on a train and they one of them forces the other one to make a deal where they kill people in their life that they want but there's no link between them because they're strangers um, very good film Reservoir Dogs this is when we did the Tarantino reviews Pulp Fiction Inglorious Bastards Inglorious Bastards we tried filming that when we lived in Weybridge and you started laughing about something so much that you couldn't continue the review do you remember this? no <laughs> so um, yeah you laughed so much that you couldn't continue and then I got annoyed and then you got annoyed that I got annoyed by it because you couldn't help yourself and then we just got mad at each other and we stopped filming Sounds like something we'd do. Yeah, and then let's film it again. Fargo, oh yeah. Um, 
from that one, right? No? Yeah. Okay. Well, you didn't react in any way. No, I'm no. just again reacting to how you could get annoyed with me for having a laughing <laughs> attack. Like, what a stupid thing to get annoyed about. No. Uh, I should have just thrown water in your face. Well, it was the Weybridge, yeah, so... Um, Weybridge was toxic. Terminator 2, uh, The Lion King, Moonstruck, which, oh we, my God. which we watched in a marathon, so we didn't rewatch it. We just gave our brief thoughts on whether it was a film you should see before you die, and then I reused the footage from the marathon of us just dying laughing at how ridiculous that film was. Mm. So glad we watched this movie. <laughs> How long are we in into it? What's the running time? Uh... <laughs> I can't believe that well, just they, they met like three minutes ago, and then he grabs her, stands her up, and then he kisses her, and she kisses him back, and then yep. she goes, "Wait a minute! Wait a minute!" And then she kisses him again. He lifts her up, <laughs> and then he's walking across the floor. She's like, "Where are you taking me?" To the bed. To the bed. <laughs> and she's like, I don't care. I don't care. Take me to the bed. <laughs> You're mad at Johnny. Take your revenge out on me. <laughs> Until there's nothing left. Until there's nothing only skin on bone. Skin bone. <laughs> my hand. I lost my hand. I lost my bride. Magnolia, which is a three-hour film with Tom Cruise with long hair and oh, yeah. Like all yeah, yeah, different... interview things, yeah, yeah. blah blah blah, weird shit. Not watching that again. Great film, Taxi Driver. That was a no, though, right? I think you said no. Yeah, I, I didn't. You think? I didn't log it for the last um, fifty. Taxi Driver, Rob De Niro, um, which I think we've watched like three times, and you forget it every single time. Yeah, I already forgot. There you go, Fatal Attraction. Which is Glenn Close and Michael Douglas, and and they he cheated on his wife with Glenn Close, but then she wouldn't leave him alone, and she was stalking him and his wife. Oh and yeah, the and was a, it's the it's the rabbit in the pot thing. Bunny boiler, yeah. Remember Spoiler. You? Yeah, bunny boiler is a part of pop culture at this point. That was a great movie. Yes, Airplane, uh, which is one of the best comedies, followed by The Naked Gun, another one of the best comedies. Don't call me Shirley. Yes, uh, Inception. Mm. Wow. Uh, Inception <laughs> Cat. The Philadelphia Story. That's uh, James Stewart, Cary Grant, Catherine Hepburn. I don't believe you liked it as What'd much as I thought you would. What'd you call Hepburn? Catherine Hepburn. I thought you said Carathon then. No. Raising Arizona, Nicolas Cage. Love mm, that film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I love him so much. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's it. ugly crying no but it's funny but she just loved that kid instantly I, think, I forget the name of it it's one of the most f funniest jokes I've ever seen in a film it's, it's the family who had like six kids and so Nicolas Cage and his, what, his wife were like well they got, they got more than they can handle so we can, we can steal one of them so the, the parents are sitting downstairs and the six babies are upstairs and there's a thud and I forget the name of the baby but let's just say it's Carl Jr and the, 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 the father goes huh Sounds like Carl Jr. <laughs> like by the third, you could tell which of the six identical fucking babies it was. Sounds yeah, but like the Carl fact Jr. that they didn't even react more than that when they hear a third Well, that's babies. funny, but it's and just that it sounds like him. And they were all sleeping in this massive yeah, cot, and uh, they were crawling around. I fucking love that and film. You... <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Don't say the word elephant, and then you just end up saying it. Yeah, um, so, Stand By Me. Uh -huh. Classic, Total Recall, eyes bugging out of the head, you know. Um, yeah, I know Total Recall. No, I know you know. I'm just you know, you, two weeks. You are your, you are not you. You are me. No shit. Uh, total. Oh, I've already said Total Recall. <laughs> <laughs> what did you just? Say? <laughs> <coughs> oh, I don't know what I said. Let's just move on. No, stop laughing or I'll get annoyed with you and then we'll get into an argument and stop filming. <laughs> I didn't breathe for like 30 seconds. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> almost done. Oh. <clears throat> I'm so tired. <laughs> I said, you are not you, you are me, no shit. You know, <laughs> what do you think I said? I didn't know. 
Over, okay. That was just gibberish. I thought you were just saying. <laughs> Gonna explode! Look, I'm handle it. Wearing <coughs> mascara and it's going everywhere. <laughs> oh, my head is gonna pop. <laughs> so close. Okay. <clears throat> I'm sorry. It's okay. So after total recall, the next one you joined me on was. First, <laughs> first Bueller's day off. <clears throat> yeah. Never had one lesson. Monty Python and the Holy Grail. What was it about Ferris Bueller that you were like, there's like this scene that you reacted to and you said something, someone wasn't someone or something like that. Yeah, there's a, there's a shot when they leave the restaurant and it's like his double or whatever and it's oh, in, right. in plain sight. Clearly not Matthew Broderick. Like, and I'm just like, that's not him. And you're like, huh. And I'm like, God, you fucking see it. So we pause down. I'm like going up to the TV, like, you know, almost to run a, a diagram around it. Monty Python and the Holy Grail. That was an interesting one because I, I watched it for the first time and loved it and thought it was great. And then I watched it with you. And I guess because you weren't laughing, I suddenly felt this isn't that funny. And so it was a weird one. I'm intrigued to revisit that film. I think it's funny if you haven't slept for 36 hours mm. and are drunk. <clears throat> so then there's Bridesmaids, which we just talked about. Blue Velvet, the David Lynch film with a young Carl McLaughlin, which I think you, you had very mixed feelings about. Um, Die Hard, um, you know, classic. That was very recent, Blue Velvet. Uh, three years ago, yeah. Huh. That was really the last time we did reviews together or even videos together. Really. What was the last one you said? Outside of the marathons. Um, Die Hard. <laughs> Titanic, um, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, which I'm going to include because we just watched it yesterday, Pretty Woman, um, Gladiator, which we watched a couple of weeks ago, or a week ago. Re oh, so you added that on now? I'm gonna, I, we're going to film that at some point, and then right, okay, I'm, yeah, I'm sure you don't want to watch it. I was going to say, like, well, hang on, we didn't watch that before. Yeah, I'm sure you don't want to like watch it again and review it down the line. And then the last one that we did was, one well, of the last one, but chronologically in the series, The Tree of Life. So, <clears throat> Which I don't remember. Yeah, that's weird. Um, so it's just been a weird thing where I want the initial goal it's of this... the one with um, um, Brad Pitt. Yeah, Brad Pitt. Oh, yeah, no, I remember. And his that. kids and, you know, and then there's like a whole section about the birth of the universe. It's a very strange film, but yeah, I think yeah, it was incredible. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I initially want to do this challenge and watch everything in this book um, in five years before my 30th birthday. I am now 36. Um, so going at this rate, <clears throat> I will probably be dead before I get close to finishing. You're 35. Am I? I am. Why do I think 36? I don't know. You're 36. No, That's I'm why. I'm 26. <laughs> okay, 35. Wow, I just gained a year. That's pretty good. Um... <clears throat> Took it from me. I still want to keep going, and I'm not going to stop. Um, but it's just one of those things. I just think all that free time I had in Norway, you know, without having a, a full-time job, or even a part-time job. I just did online, online work, really. So <clears throat> it's really my fault for just not being better at it. But I do also enjoy having you in these videos, and at least some of the time. And like I said, so you, it was, it was, you pretty... enjoy having me in these videos some of the time. <laughs> yeah, because there's no way I'd ever get, if I was to wait for you to be in the mood to watch a film from the book and only do it then, we'd never get through it because it's so difficult sometimes to get you to watch yeah, a film. Yeah, because my time is extremely valuable. No, not even, no, not even at the moment. I'm, even 10 years ago, it's you'd be like, because the rest eh. of the movies in the book aren't really movies I want to watch. We've already watched the good ones. <clears throat> in my opinion. So you did 41, 30, and then 40. Which is pretty even, around 30-ish films per 100. So I don't know how realistic it'll be to get you to be in more of them, but it's I enjoy having you in them anyway, so and we'll see. We'll see how that pans out. I'll always try and rope you in, but not always. There's, there's plenty of them I'll go, you should never watch that, but, you know, in theory, there might be still a few more I can pluck out and, you know. I wonder what the 2023 version looks like. They haven't released one in a couple of years, hmm. but there's been many updates. Since well, I mean, it makes sense with the 
COVID and stuff like that, there hasn't uh, been that many more new movies. I suppose, but uh, you know, there's many different versions of this. I'm still going with, I'm still going yeah, with this. Wrap it up. I know we're, we're still going with. You're, you're like me with the leg. What's going on with the shaking leg? You never have the shaking leg. I'm trying to keep myself awake. I'm still going to commit to staying with the 2012 book, which goes up to 2011. Um, and and yeah, as I... What? It goes to 11. It does go to 2011. So, for anyone who has been asking me, which is two people, I think. Um, <laughs> seriously. Um, January 1st, um, I will be posting reviews again of stuff that I've been editing over the past few years. They're nothing special, but I've been trying to get back to it. And um, we'll see what happens once I get back into chronology with 300. And then hopefully I can not mess around and fuck up with the timeline again and just do simple videos when I can. So, um, any reflections? It's not really a big part of your thing, is it really? It's just something I occasionally get you to do over the past 10 years. It's not like a... I feel like I reflected during the whole thing. Hmm. Um, and uh, part of it I can't even say anyway. I suppose so. And we'll leave it on that mysterious yeah. note. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Mm. I might see you in five years. Possibly. <laughs>